have you ever seen this kind of an error before where you get a red line over your hash include yes we have seen this a lot of time and you might be a new user to vs code you are starting coding for the first time and you thought of learning c or c plus plus for the first time and you downloaded vs code now as soon as you downloaded and started working on your very first program as soon as you wrote the first program this error came how you would solve this error well this is a very common error guys and today in this video i'm going to explain you how to solve this error very easily in your vs code this is ashank david welcome to code is arcade and let's understand how to solve this error so in this case you see that this is a error that you see when you write your very first program into your vs code now you can write c or c plus plus whatever program generally wherever you write hash include this type of error will come now i have given an example of c plus plus in this case so in this case what's happening so to uh solve this error you just need to hover your mouse over to that error and here you see that you get this issue cannot open the source file io stream please run the intellisense configuration command to local locate your system header so here you have two options given view problem and quick fix so i will click on to quick fix you have to click on to quick fix and then when you click on to that quick fix you see this edit compiler path setting and disable error squiggles for those people who don't know what is error squiggle these red lines are what you call as error squiggle so here what you need to do is you need to click on to this edit compiler path and as soon as you do it you see that this intellisense configurations gets opened up now what you need to do is you need to scroll down a little bit and here you see this compiler path option you see that there's nothing here into this compiler path actually you have to fill something into this compiler path and what so guys if you are doing c or c++ the very first thing is to install a good compiler into your system and that compiler will allow you to easily run any c or c++ program and the best compiler that you can go for in c or c++ is going to be winjw you might have already installed this before and if you have not installed then you have to install it okay so how to install that you will go to your google chrome and in this on your google you will search for download uh, mingw and as soon as you type download mingw you can just download them you can just search it and you can see that uh, here the these options will come so on source forge you have this there's even a vs code link as well so in this case when you click onto this vs code link in this it they will explain you how to use mingw or download it for your vs code to start working with your first uh, program but what you need to do is you need to open up this website mingw w64 and you have to click on to this and as soon as you go on to this you can download it there are many links actually not only just this link but the easy one is this link the source forge link where you can just download it and you can install it very easily into your system okay i have installed it already in my system so i don't have to worry about it if you haven't done it yet i would recommend you to just install it very quickly and i have already created one video already on this how to install it so if you haven't watched that video i will give the link in the description below and you can do that as well so if i show you where i have installed this this is the place where i've installed it in my this pcs d drive documents installed softwares and mengw32 so i have installed it right here okay so i will go in that particular directory wherever i have installed you might have installed it into c drive or you might have installed into d drive i have personally did it in my d drive so i will go there and i'll click on to this mingg32 folder and inside this i'll have to go to bin and when i go to bin you see all these files are present into this folder what you need to focus on to is this gcc and g++.exe any file any of these two files can be used to run your C or C++ program. These two files or any one of these files path has to be included into the compiler path. Right over here. So right over here you need to uh, give that path. So we will go to that folder and what I'll do is I can just you know copy this path. So I'll right click and I'll just copy the path. And I'll just give that path right over here and I'll give one backslash again and I'll just directly say gcc.exe. After doing this, your problem should be easily resolved. 
so i'll just say enter and when i say this you see i'll go back and my error is gone and you see when i run this code it runs very nicely no problem no errors what you need to do is just go to the configuration file and add this compiler path of mingw wherever you have installed it and once you have done this this error will be gone forever guys so i hope so that you have understood this really well and i hope so that this video helped you a lot so that's all for this video guys i thank you so much for watching this video guys if you have liked this video and you have understood this really well it i would request you people to please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon also so that you won't miss any future updates well that's all for this video guys thank you so much this is ashank david i'll be signing off and i'll see you in the next one and also if you are interested in learning dsa i am working on our dsa live daily in our day to day daily we are coming dsa data structures and algorithms live all for free so if you want to learn dsa for placements you can watch it for free every day in the evening 6 pm i come and i do live if you have missed all those lives i have already created a playlist also where you can follow all the recorded sessions of my dsa live so that you can also learn from it well that's all for this video guys i hope this video was informative Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Ashok David signing off.